Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video we're going to be showing you the procedure to basically upgrade the RAM as well as replace the hard drive to an SSD or upgrade the existing hard drive of the Dell Inspiron 3558 series of laptops. Now the Dell Vostro and the Dell Inspiron there are two similar looking laptops but the procedure to upgrade the RAM is very tedious in this particular laptop. You need to remove the entire base and the touchpad which we will show you in this uh, coming video. Now, say your laptop is something like this on the top panel. Once uh, opened, it shows it, it basically looks like this, and it says Inspiron 15 3000 over here. And if the base is something which looks like this, then you can apply this particular procedure to basically disassemble your Dell Inspiron 3558. Now you need some things for uh, opening this particular laptop, the screwdriver set, all sorts of uh, screws you should be able to unscrew. You need uh, something like this, uh, it's a sort of a prior actually, it's used basically to remove the keyboard so that it does not uh, uh, have any scratches when you're removing it. You need a prior like this and uh, you need uh, basically a partition box wherein you can put the different kind of screws as you can see for hinges, hard drive, RAM. So when you're disassembling the whole laptop, we suggest you have something like this. So the first thing first that we need to do is flip the laptop and uh, remove the battery. The battery can be removed very easily just by removing this, this moving this bit, this notch on the left and the battery will pop out. Once the battery has popped out, you need to remove all the visible screws that you can see on the base. Right, once all the screws have been removed, as you can see, all the screws have to be removed. There is this little sticker which does not have any screw whatsoever, so don't uh, remove the sticker. Now flip the laptop and uh, we need to now remove the keyboard. So for keyboard, there are these notches, one, two, three, four, five, which you need to protrude and remove the keyboard from here. the keyboard will give away so people who want to remove the keyboard uh, they can just remove the keyboard by removing these five notches and then uh, need to remove this particular strip connector over here keep it aside then you need to remove this particular strip connector keep it aside this particular strip connector too and this particular strip connector too Now there are a lot of screws uh, which you will see, uh, you need to remove all the screws that are visible on the touchpad. Now, once the touchpad screws have been removed, we just need to flip it back and start protruding the back panel. Once you've removed the DVD writer, there are these screws over here which need to be removed. One, two, and
then just remove it like this and it comes away so once you've removed the base uh, you can see the motherboard the hard drive and uh, pretty much everything the Wi-Fi chip the processor if you want to clean up the fan or something all you can do is uh, just remove the base here the way we have done now for uh, replacing the RAM you just need to use your two thumbs and uh, there are these two notches and the RAM will give away so you need to buy a DDR3 low voltage memory 1600 megahertz and uh, it's a DDR3 4GB that we are going to upgrade it with it's already got 4GB so we will put another 4GB onto it straight forward and uh, the RAM gets upgraded to 8GB now coming to the hard drive uh, the hard drive is connected by this very weak looking uh, strip so we need to remove this particular strip first and then we need to remove the screws that are there holding on to the hard drive one two screws and then you can just remove the hard drive now the hard drive is a standard uh, SAT a 2.5 inches hard drive you can replace it with an SSD also just need to remove one two three four four more screws to remove the HDD frame that is holding on to the hard drive and just again uh, replace it the way you have removed it don't forget to put the cable back it will not detect all right so for removing the processor uh, fan uh, you cannot remove the processor basically because it is soldered the entire thing is soldered so you need to remove these uh, one two three four five six screws now this is because uh, it has got with graphics on this particular laptop is the reason you are seeing the two uh, panels here if it was without graphics then only one three screws would be sufficient to be removed and you can open up and uh, clean up the fan also so let us again reassemble the whole thing right so let's put the base back onto its place uh, be very sure that you put this particular strip uh, above the in from the inside over here so when you're putting it back it should be popping out from the touchpad area so once you have put it back just so start pressing all over a lot of crackling noise will be there Alright friends, this was a video showing you how to basically replace the hard drive, upgrade the RAM, uh, upgrade the hard drive to an SSD, remove the Wi-Fi chip, basically access to the entire motherboard and you can also do the fan cleaning uh, if you wish to, replacing the keyboard of this particular laptop as well as the DVD writer. 
so the entire base was basically disassembled and uh, shown to you hope you like the video guys uh, do let us know your suggestions and comments and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to us you can buy all these components on our website techstore.co.in thank you so much guys